In this video, I'm going to do something different, and that is to try and simulate an interesting trading strategy that I watched recently on YouTube. The original is from the Trader DNA channel, and the video claims to have a 98% win rate. I tried to code this strategy into an algorithm for automatic backtesting to see if it really can attain this claim to win rate. In my journey for trading algorithms, I came across the Wada Attar explosion a long time ago in this video. And from that moment on, I always wanted to investigate the WAE indicator for its probability, because I found it very interesting and hoped to find it a trustworthy signaling indicator. There are also lots of other videos that explain and test this indicator too, and I thought it would be the time to test myself to see if it performs as good as all the other videos you see in the list. I also came across this video, and it explained quite well what this indicator does and how to use it. I could have picked any of these other videos in the list as well, but I chose to do this one. So after watching that video, that uh, by the way has a great explanation on the usage of the indicator, I really wanted to create an algorithm with which I could test that indicator and the proposed strategy that was explained there. Now fortunately I immediately have to put myself a little bit on the defense here, because the original video presents quite a few different approaches to the Wada Attar trading strategy. But it's not specific on the settings of the WAE, like if a trading view indicator is used, the time frame that is tested, or any other information why the video stage a 98% win rate, and the testing methodology that claims this result. Only that it can be used on a multitude of asset classes. Not to mention the fact that no actual trading results were shown. So it could well be that with 98% of wins, you'd still have an empty trading account. And you can watch my earlier strategy testing videos on what I mean by this. Anyway, I had to be a little bit more creative in some aspects, especially with the exit signals. And this is also something to do with the backtesting engine and the limitations of the trading bot that I use. Nonetheless, I think I came close enough to have a somewhat reasonable idea of the real performance of that strategy. So let me explain how my algorithm looks. The most simplistic version of the proposed strategy in the video is to buy when the volume bar turns bullish and rises above the explosion line. The sell signal is the moment where the first bearish bar appears, indicating that the trend ends. And it does not have to be above the explosion line here. However, if I show you the recent price action on the daily time frame, you can immediately see here that there is difference in the clean and clear Wada Attar explosion image of the video and the one on TradingView. That one looks a bit more messy and also has green and red bars in between these bullish and bearish moves at the time. And these may cause premature endings of the trades in these cases. According to the original video, I also have to add some more indicators here to filter out the noise. The narrator suggests two uh, additional moving averages to determine trending markets, here the 20 EMA and the 50 EMA to be precise. And besides the WAE and the two EMAs here, there is also the proposed 25 CCI indicator. So in total, this algorithm will have the following rules. For bullish trades, the WAE indicator should be green and uh, move above the explosion line. The 20 EMA is above the 50 EMA and the price is above both lines. And the 25 length CCI should be above the center line. And for bearish trades, the WAE indicator should be red and move above the explosion line. The 20 EMA is below the 50 EMA, and the 25 length CCI is below the center line. In the original video, the following exit signals are proposed. The exit signal for long trades happens when a bearish volume candle appears after the entry for long trades, and for shorts, when a bullish volume candle appears after the entry for a short trade. And there is also a risk-reward type of profit-taking mentioned, but for me it was unclear which risk-reward settings uh, were used, because it's not explained further in the video. And also, most of the time the reward was drawn at the exact top of the bullish or bearish move, which in actual trading is not the case, by the way. But I gave it the benefit of the doubt, and decided to use the earlier shown opposite candle methodology for exiting the trade. Now I cannot say if this is the exact method for the 98% win rate, and I'm also a little bit limited in the possibilities for risk-reward trading with my backtesting engine. But I think I come pretty close to the original proposed strategy here. 
I coded this all into Python algorithms to do a fully automatic backtest with my backtesting engine. And as you might already know, this helps me to do backtesting large amounts of data in a reasonable amount of time. And also preventing the human vector of subjective alternative decision making per entry or exit. Making this test clinical and objective. So I made the code for long and short futures trading and one file for doing only spot trading trying to find out which of these two has the best overall probability to make money in the market. So let's turn to the results of these backtests and see if we really can get close to a 98% win rate with a decent profit here. So the results I show here are attained on my specific setup with my preferred cryptocurrency pairs to test and over the longest possible data set I could manage to find. So I did not expect to get the exact numbers as stated in the video, and if you are testing this on your own setup, then I expect you will see differences too. But I also expect to see at least some similarities or some close proximities to the numbers of the original video. However, these are the results of the backtests I got and you can check and verify all the stuff I do here because I upload all my work including the code files, the output of the results and my complete setup to Patreon. And this way you can replicate my work on your own computer if you like and I hope to be fully transparent in what I do by doing this. You may even point me to the possible mistakes I made in the comments section below, because that helps also the community to prevent the same errors and we can all learn from each other. So please click like, subscribe and comment to this channel to learn and find the best trading algorithm for your situation. In spot trading we only do long trades and will not short the market, so we potentially miss 50% of the trading opportunities here. Some countries prohibit shorting the market, so it is always a good exercise to see what spot trading can potentially bring us. Now, in the case of the Wada Attar explosion strategy, the 4 hour time frame seems to have the best cards in hand. But we immediately can see that a 98% win rate is out of the question here. It can barely attain a win rate of 34.6%, and to be honest that it is pretty much in line with most trend trading strategies I've tested so far. It still manages to have a win percentage of uh, 1410 and also the drawdown is reasonably here. 61% of my trading pairs respond well to this trading algorithm. Let's see what the equity curve looks like. The curve here has not a steady incline but looks to respond to quick market movements, which is obvious of course since the indicator literally has the term explosion in the name. However, slower more sideways markets tend to make this algo bleed your profits and the proposed filtering EMA and CCI indicators do not do a great job here. So this would be my first point of improvement, finding out better indicators that filter out the bad trades. And this is also confirmed in this drawdown chart. Between the first and second bull market top and during the start of the bear market, the drawdown of the account goes up. Another mentionable chart here is the win-loss ratio. Overall this strategy shows you a lot of losers over time and only some wins, and these wins have a higher percentage gain than all these losses, but still the psychological factor of seeing your bot makes loss after loss, you should also take into account here. How long would you leave your bot running if it showed you uh, 35 losses after another is the real question here. So overall this is not the best scoring trading algorithm, and its drawdown is certainly eye catching in comparison with the best scoring algorithms at the time. But we still have the chance to get a 98% win rate if we watch the futures version, where we go long and short trading. Let's start with the positive side. The futures version, where the algorithm takes long and short trades, does perform better than the spot only version in terms of end balance, win percentage, win streak, and eventually the total score over all parameters. But on the negative side, it still doesn't come close to the promised 98% win rate. Barely 36% of the trades end up positive. The profit factor stays over 1, so eventually the winning trades make this still a profitable trading strategy. But watching the equity curve here, you can see that this algo experiences much higher and sharper peaks than spot only trading, and trading futures looks more to be a roller coaster ride than a boring steady incline of funds. And I like boring, by the way. This also is reflected in the drawdown curve that has many high peaks and troughs and an average drawdown of around 15%. The win rate and profit distribution plots tell me the following stories. 
The box plot shows that the median win rate is uh, quite low, around 20 to 25 percent, and the middle 50 percent of the data falls between approximately 0.2 and 0.6. So, despite the claim of a high win rate, this chart suggests significant uh, variability, with some instances having win rates below 20 percent, while a few cases approach 100 percent. And the profit distribution box plot here shows that most of the profits are clustered around the center, with a median profit slightly above zero. There are also significant outliers in both the positive and negative directions, with extreme profits going above 3000 and extreme losses going below minus 2000. And this suggests that most trades results in small profits or losses, and there are occasionally large wins or large losses. And finally, the comparison of this strategy's performance indicators with that of the current best strategies show that the profit factor and the Sortino ratio aren't quite as bad, but the drawdown, profit percentage and eventually sharp ratio need to be fixed to make it come close to the best current performing trading strategies. And so, after seeing all these results, it's hard to believe the original video's claim of 98% win rate, especially if some crucial facts like time frame, actual trading results, risk and reward settings, or markets tested, or any of that is not even mentioned. My results aren't even getting close to that. Now would my backtest results disqualify that video? Well, I would argue not, since I also did not code each and every exact step in my algorithm too, like the proposed risk reward settings for example, but I also like to be not too critical on myself here, since no additional information on that was given anyway. Nonetheless, I did what I always wanted to do, and that is to test out the Wada Attar Explosion Indicator in a trading strategy to discover its added benefits. In the meantime, I am also working on another strategy that uses this same indicator, and it seems to have better results than the strategy presented in this video. So, when I'm happy with the backtest results of that one, I will upload that code and the results to my Patreon sites for my patrons. In the meantime, I will show you the position in the strategy league of the tested strategies, and please remember to always do your own research and forward test any trading strategy before putting your real money on the line. In the meantime, I will keep searching for the best trading strategy, and maybe I'll do more of these YouTube examples. Nonetheless, this is the end for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!